ओके तो लास्ट क्वेश्चन वी डेड दिस वन This is also advanced question. J advanced. So it's easy. I'm giving you to try. One, try this. It's an infinite letter. So you use the formula which I gave you for infinite series. If you attended that class, right? I gave you something. Do you remember what is the formula? Hmm. 
Jafar, Kavalika, you both were there, I think, guess so, right? What's the formula I gave you for infinite series? Tell me, Kavalika. Don't you remember? Check your class. Turn your pages. We wrote. We'll assume this one as x, and we wrote something x plus something one by. I'm asking that formula. Should I scroll up and show you? Is infinite hmm. this formula. Come on, try it. Assume this whole circuit as X. We have two, one ohm, this one, six voltage supply. R A B these two are in parallel <coughs> and one in series two X Y two plus X X equals two that's what we wrote right one plus <coughs> Get X ready.
we are assuming rb as a means total of sum of adding to infinite series it will be same value so that is equals to x Yes, what's the value of x, Jafar? Holika? No, it hasn't <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sign yeti. What's X? Can you hear us? Sign yeti. Okay, what's x here? 2 plus x. So 2x plus x square, 2 plus x means 3x. So for the x side, so x square minus. X minus two, which is zero. X plus one. So two. two. It will be two, right? Yeah, I guess that X minus one and plus. So X is two. Yeah, so we got access to. So substitute this that in R A B one plus four by four, which is no, no, not five, two only. Two. That is our first part. Show the effective resistance between. Oh yeah, we have to prove it, right? So yes, ends proved. So first one done. This was A. Part B. What it says? What is the current that passing through two ohm resistor nearest to the battery? Now, actually this answer is very easy. A 
okay i'm extending this question nearest to battery and in these two branches so i want i and i1 i2 i want i i want i2 find the easiest way to solve this see already we already cal calculated r a b that is 2 so i will be 6 by 2 which is 3 oh ampere okay now 2 and 2 this is also 2 ohm and this also 2 ohm so they this current will divide in equal part so 1.5 here and 1.5 here ampere that means our answer is total current i equals to 3 ampere And I one in first branch that is one point five ampere, and I two in second branch that is one point five ampere. Okay, clear, everyone. Okay, so what you will do here? Any idea? Any suggestion? Calculate equivalent val uh, value of uh, cells uh, with internal resistance. Uh, internal resistance. Okay, instead of going that way, just apply KCL. There will be two equation, two unknown. Question done. It will be easier. Even we need potentials also, right? Between each cell G and H.
use any method answer will be same <coughs> <clears throat> and what is this? This is our descriptive type question. Advanced descriptive type question. In there, you have to show calculation. Integer type, just you have to type one so that you know already. <clears throat> yeah, are you doing it? Pravalika? Yes, I'm trying. Okay. Jafar? Yes, sir. Almiati? Yes, people, what happened? Shall I start solving? Okay, then let's start. First, let's apply a current direction. I'm assuming flow of current. Uh, in this way, let's assume this direction. Moving here, going here, and coming here. So this junction, let's name it I1. Here I2. So let's let this be I1 minus I2. The two equation two unknown. One by three. Which answer a part A or B? Take second. Take second. Take second. Take second. Take second. Take 
you missed something. Okay, check that later. First, let's calculate this one here. Okay, now what are these values? P2 voltage, H1 voltage, G3 voltage, F1 voltage. This I1 minus I2. Okay, everything done? Okay. So, we are applying KVL in let's go this order B, A, D, B. B A D B. We can apply any direction. I'm applying this direction. B A D B. So minus two for voltage. Minus. For resistor minus two, I one minus I two. No, let's try this one now. Plus. Okay, or better, let's make it as clockwise. And also, okay. Plus two, plus one, seven, no, three. Okay, yeah, let's make it clockwise. Okay, two minus two I one. Minus one I one minus one plus two I one minus plus two zero. And in loop B D C B two I one minus I two plus three minus three I two minus I two minus one equals to zero. I will, if we get solve this, what we get here? Like this. It's one, and this will be three, two, Did I made any mistake? Minus uh, this one correct. Minus one.
Okay. This is not required. Second one. This. Okay. It's still not required. One thirteen. Plus. Oh, okay. So this is five by thirteen plus one. I two as a six by thirteen. Check. Is it coming same? Read it orally. Check. Is it coming same? Yeah, it should be correct. So in between we have I1 minus I2. So 5 minus 6, that is minus 1 by 13. So for part A, what we need? So it's a question for. Huh? We need position difference between BD, B and D. So we have two voltage there. Sorry, two ohm I one minus I two. So V B plus two into I one minus I two equals to B D. So we need difference between them. So V B minus V D equals to two into I one minus I two. So I one is five. Okay, five means minus one by 13 into two. Oh, sorry, this will be also minus. So two by 13. Two by 13 voltage, part A. Part B was the question. Potential across terminal of each cell that is G and H. What is G? Uh, three and H one voltage. Okay. So V G equals to one voltage, right? Sorry, three voltage. One is for H. E minus what kind is flowing? I2. E minus I2 into internal resistance of that voltage, that EMF, which is 3 minus I2. What was I2? 6 by 13, right? Yeah, six by thirteen into three. Internal resistance is three. Thirteen thirty nine. What is this? Yes. Eighteen. So. 
21 by 13 voltage. Now VH. PH minus oh, plus. I2 RH 1 plus 6 by 13 to 1 which is 19 by 13 voltage. So V H equals to See guys are you able to understand what I'm doing? But I'm simply writing. Yeah, sure. Okay, by the way, you understood this one, right? Solving this part, applying KVL, and this both. Everyone remember how to apply KVL? Or shall I explain this KVL part? Guys, one speaker. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Now see, we are applying here KVL in clockwise direction. That means this plus two of this one, if we are moving against this one so minus two of v1 potential right so two into i1 minus i2 so this one done and we are moving towards this one so this one done this is not required let it be and when we are touching this part it is minus for coming first so this one also done in this loop. Same manner, let's apply in this loop. Plus three. Current direction this way, we are also moving in the same direction. So plus two I1 minus I2. And as we're moving in this side, so plus, nahin, this is minus. So we have minus this one. So this three done, you want, this is not required. So if we solve this, oh, my current is passing, you're getting confused. I see. Okay. So let me draw a big diagram. Let me draw this separate. And let's take a battery also. Both will do. Okay. Now, we are moving in clockwise direction. Okay. Our direction is clockwise for both. We are assuming our clockwise direction. Then anti-clockwise that you can understand later. Okay. Now, okay. We are moving in clockwise, means our calculation is not clockwise direction and assume that current is flowing in this part is this way. From A side to B side. Okay, so as current is moving in A to B and our direction is also A to B, that means I R will be positive. Now in battery, yes, now in battery, current direction is this way, see for batteries, uh, forget the current direction, you make it easier, forget the current direction, now I'm moving in clockwise. 
Okay, I'm moving in clockwise direction. That means this is my direction and I'm moving in here. This is exiting. So I will not consider here. I'm entering here. So this plus E. Now, if I'm moving in anti-clockwise direction, okay, so I will touch this one first. This is exiting and this is entering. So this will be minus E. So easy way to remember is this, like where we are entering in the battery, which side we are entering, positive side we are entering or negative side we are entering. Okay. In our clockwise. So if it is moving clockwise and your battery direction is this way, I'm moving in clockwise and battery direction is this way, then this is your negative. So again, this will be minus E. So whichever side we are entering, not exiting, entering side. This is our battery and this is our circuit. Uh, we are calculating this way. That means we are moving in this way and we are entering here. That means this battery will be minus E. Minus E. Here, everyone. Sir, and we have to put the I1 and uh, I2. So. Yeah, when we are giving KVL, I, uh, ask a question again. So the I and I2. So how to apply this current? That's what current direction? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Current direction, it can be any. But but we have to check that this whenever we are applying any direction, particular direction, then it should be proper. Uh, let me show you here. One second. If this is our connection, something here, then again some connection, whatever, and something here. Now I can start my current direction here. Here also, anywhere. It can be anywhere. Let's start from here. I'm saying this is this I. Now this I is flowing and there is a junction. So at junction, it will divide. Either it will divide or it will join, whatever. Best way or easiest way to remember, let it divide. If they didn't mention any direction. If they give, then use that. If they didn't mention, then divide the current from here. Focus. Let this be I1, I2. Or if you don't want to get more equations here, because it will be three equation, three unknown. So better I. What, what shall we write here? I minus I1. I1. That means this shows that this is the remaining current. I is dividing into two. One is I1 and remaining is this side on AB part. This way we can divide your current. Clear? Yes, sir. Same way you follow everywhere. It will be very easy. Same way, did the same way. Once you're thorough with that, then you can apply your own. Anywhere you can do this. This is, this is our sign convention. We have given that. Let's come back to the question. So, where is it? Huh. So this KVL done. Next, you calculate this one. I have done this oral calculation. Let's See this, is it correct or not? You check, multiply and check it. Then once we get this one, what is the value here? What they're asking? Find potential difference between B, D. So where is B? At this point and this point. So difference between B and D. So in between we have V, B, voltage at D, voltage and potential drop at this resistance to ohm. So that will be 2 into I1 minus I2. 
so everything we need to consider here because this is the potential drop between b and d am i audible right or am i is my voice breaking It shows unstable connection did you hear what i said okay so first one we found oh sorry where is it ha huh, bb so vb minus in between that there is a resistance right there was a resistance here two and current is this one so as we are moving from b to d plus direction so v minus uh where is it ha huh, here so vb minus vd and we are sending that side so we need actually we need difference in potentials so here we can write like this vbd equals to this one 2 by 13 voltage as per the above current you, i'm not sure about this current is correct or not but it, i'm just showing you a one way you can check your check your answer and tell me is it correct or not but later first later first you see here second part a uh, v b and no not b g and h we want potential difference across g and h so we have here emf that is 3 minus i2 r g r g of r of this internal resistance So they didn't give, so we have assumed that same value. Did they give? Yes, they have given two, three, one. Same value they have given. I didn't assume here. That means they have given same value. Two, one, and three, one. So six, eighteen, and three, and all the calculation you can do it. So E H. so this so i'm taking this one as negative so this one will be positive 1 6 by 13 1 so 19 by 13 okay check this one is this value same or i have to change some numbers Is this anything wrong, or you tell me? Calculate and tell me. Let me take one question as a give you as a homework. No, this question is what it what it is. Okay. Question which I'm going to give you that is not from advance this time. This is two thousand three mains. This is your homework actually. Take this question. Take a screenshot. Think of it. Okay, then we are going to meet on directly. So, 
directly Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, right? Let me give you some more question. Option A. Okay, let's see. I don't have option answer here. I have to scroll so much up. Right now I'm searching question. Okay. Okay, then I will give you this whole page as a homework. Try it because we'll meet directly on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And this is this. Okay, take this question, or shall I send it in a WhatsApp group, or this one is okay? Increase the size, or? Is it visible to everyone? Okay, shall I send WhatsApp? Okay. Okay, then I'll send to WhatsApp. Fine. Okay, guys, then see you all next class.